Hello and welcome to the video. If you watch my channel, you may be aware that I'm an avid supporter of barefoot shoes. I believe they are the future and if you experience any type of knee, hip or foot pain, you should really consider transitioning to a barefoot lifestyle. However, barefoot shoes can be an expensive investment, so when I stumbled across a budget-friendly solution, I had to try it out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own barefoot shoes for less than £20. Yes, less than £20. So slap that like button and let's get straight to the video. How to turn your vans into barefoot shoes. So I saw this video on Exercising for Health's YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that channel, I highly suggest checking out and I'll put the link in the description of this video. So basically in that video, he transitioned a pair of Vans shoes into barefoot shoes and I'm gonna be attempting to recreate that myself. If you watch this channel regularly, you will know I am not very good at DIY and even putting up the pull-up bar on the doorway was a bit of an experience for me. So if I can do this, anyone can do it. So what we're gonna need first is a pair of Vans. So there are two models that work, the old school and the era authentic. However, looking into this once again, Vans can be pretty pricey. A new pair of Vans, you're looking around 40 or 50 pound. So for me, I'm gonna make this a little bit cheaper and I'm gonna get a pair from eBay. On eBay, I was able to secure a pair for under 10 pound. Thank you very much, eBay. So you can even find a pair on eBay or if you have an old pair kicking around the house, just use them. I have my pair off eBay. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is pull out the insoles. Believe it or not, Vans aren't actually flat. Like I used to think that these were a flat shoe because they talk about squatting and wearing them to deadlift because it's a flat base. That there is actually a raised heel in the sole. So we're gonna pull that out now. So I'm just gonna to have to get set up so we can film as we do this. Okay, so step one is gonna to be to take out the inner sole. So to take out the insoles, you're going to want to be very careful around the edges of the shoes. I can't specify enough how careful you need to be as the inner sole is glued to the outer sole of the shoe. Exercising Health said it took him five minutes, but it took me closer to half an hour. No joke. And this is mostly because one of my shoes snapped in half. I don't know if this was because my shoes are second hand or if I was too gung ho, but this caused me some real problems. Loretta told me later that apparently it is easier to use a hairdryer to heat up the insoles and soften the glue, which can make removing the insoles a lot easier so I highly suggest doing that instead of suffering like me. And we are back and I know Loretta calls me a bit of a drama queen but that was pretty traumatic. I literally spent about 20 minutes getting those inner soles out and yeah if you can look at the debris it was quite a battlefield but we got there in the end. I don't know if it's because my shoes were an older pair of shoes but the soles started falling apart and then getting that end toe part was really tricky. So yeah, you can see that it snapped off and it literally took me like another 10 minutes to try and get the toe part out. And as he said, I really did find it useful to use some scissors and just kind of really just go take your time and go around the edge. And as I did mention in the introduction, I am terrible at DIY. So this is literally the worst case scenario of what could happen right here. But yeah, we got there in the end and now I do have the shoes ready for stage two. I just quickly want to go into looking at the sole that is in the vans. That's a pretty solid heel and like this is considered a flat shoe so if that's a flat shoe like imagine that heel with like a running shoe like that's a massive heel so like you can see how much elevation we are using with regular shoes because a flat shoe is even a heel shoe in retrospect. So we're now going to put in the insoles. You basically just want to make sure you have some ultra slim insoles to slip inside. This is basically the reason I just tried them on then. It's uncomfortable. You can kind of feel the stitching on your feet. And he says in the video as well that he did try it and the shoes kind of got a bit sweaty. So this material is going to kind of help soak up the sweat. On his video, he did then glue the insole of the Vans to the, the sole. Simply just glued it onto the sole, put a book on it for two hours and then took it off. Unfortunately, I only managed to salvage one of mine, so I'm not gonna do that. And as you can see, as these are secondhand shoes, the soles are pretty gnarly anyway, so I don't really need to put them on to like make this shoe look nice. If anything, it'll look nice with the sole. But I am gonna use this to cut my soles. So yeah, once we've got this, we're then going to cut the sole. Okay, so the moment of truth, I'm now going to slip the new insoles into the vans. Okay, they look good. I guess there's only one thing to see and it's how they feel. They 
actually feels so comfy. Yeah, I'm really happy with those, and these are probably gonna be something I would wear if I was just hanging out at a barbecue or something like that in the summer, but I wouldn't actually go walking in them, and I'll explain why. If you've worn barefoot shoes for a while, you'll notice that the vans are actually quite narrow at the top in the toe box, and you are gonna kind of feel that, and I noticed it as soon as I put on the shoes just then. So I would actually suggest maybe ordering half a size bigger, just to give yourself room in the toe box. Because I've worn barefoot shoes for over a year, I can really feel that my feet are kind of squished in. But apart from that, they feel really comfy. And that is also a reason why they don't suggest doing this with Converse, because Converse shoes are even more narrow than Vans. Yeah, just something to keep in consideration if you thought maybe to do it in Converse. But apart from that, I think it's a very good budget way to try out barefoot shoes. You're definitely gonna have the same feel as having a barefoot shoe. It's now gonna have a minimal, no heel lift as the sole is completely flat inside. They also weigh a little bit less now because of all the material that has been taken out and they're also more flexible. So you're now able to fold them up like most barefoot shoes. Oh. Yeah, I hope you found this useful. I get lots of people commenting on my barefoot videos saying how expensive barefoot shoes are. This has cost less than 20 pound to make a pair of van shoes barefoot. They're barefoot once again as in the central as ground underneath your foot will be very minimal contact. However, the, because of the narrow toe box, I would suggest maybe using these to get used to the feel of having the barefoot underneath, but the narrow toe box is gonna prevent your toes from spreading out and getting the true barefoot feeling. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found that useful. And if I can do this, or well, kind of, I kind of did it, you can definitely do this at home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.